and welcome to an EJ match review of Leeds drawing 0-0 with Middlesbrough at Elland Road in a result that keeps Leeds top of the league going into the international break. Not that being top of the league means anything at this point in the season, but still, you know, that, <laughs> it's a big, big achievement. And, um, yeah, I think a lot of people probably look at the result and say that, you know, oh, you know, 0-0 probably wasn't a very interesting game. But it, it was really. It, chances were, you know, there weren't many chances. There were few and far between. But it was an intriguing game to watch two of the best teams in the Championship, if not the two best teams in the Championship, or at least currently the two best teams in the Championship, go face-to-face. And in the end, I think both teams can be happy with a point. I guess in some ways, neither team going into the last 10 minutes was really pushing for that win. And overall, I'd say a point is a fair result. Uh, dissecting the game, dying off of the lineup. Leeds had to, well, Leeds made a couple of changes. Uh, some managed, some not. First of all, Cooper came in for Janssen and they and Cooper partnered with Berardi at centre half, which at first you were worried about because uh, Middlesbrough have so much height in their team and Bavardi obviously is not the tallest centre-back and you were worried that Mills might exploit them. Oh, I certainly was at least. But Bavardi did so well and despite his height, he marked Ayala, the Middlesbrough centre-half, who was, you know, <laughs> much taller than him. And he marked him so well and he gave Ayala problems. And although Ayala did get a couple of uh, free headers, generally Bavardi was amazing today defensively. A few straight balls in the first half, but he was really, really good. And I think... He really, really staked his claim for a first-team spot in this game. The other change was that Harrison came in for uh, Hernandez, because Hernandez uh, was injured, I believe, from the knowledge game. And um, I thought Harrison did really, really well, to be fair to him. He worked the line, you know, um, sometimes his final ball, or he just didn't get that ball in. But he worked the line, he, his pressing was amazing, and uh, his, his passing range seemed to be fairly good. He looked like, you know... Again, he, he made a good stake for his first team spot, but it's going to be hard to uh, overthrow Hernandez, obviously. But, I mean, he can also play on the left, and maybe if Alioski, you know, I, I could see him being a first team in the future, because uh, he played really well tonight. Going into the game and how it started, I thought a big thing was that Leeds started well. We got the fans, you know, going. Um, and the last few games, against Rotherham, against Norwich, and especially against Preston, we can see after two minutes, uh, we haven't started very well. We've let teams get on top, well, on, yeah, on top, and then you know we grew into the game uh, and played better later on. Uh, but today we started on it. Um, it was, sorry, it was very clear uh, from an early. It was very clear very early on that it was going to be an incredibly tight game with few chances, and it stayed that way. I thought both teams. I mean, I'm going to be from a Leeds point of view, and I can imagine both are probably in the same boat here that. Although the play at the back was good, sometimes when you get forward, it was a bit nervous. It was a bit, you know, panicky. We'd hit it long, and really, we just we needed just to build up the play. It felt to me they got the, they they were scared to make a mistake. I kind of felt the same way about Borough. I think that's their, their their problem. They were kind of getting forward and they were playing that long ball, or you know, they were playing a direct. They they they, were, they, they needed to slow the game down. They needed to play their nice passing football. I felt like their game started off in that way. Uh, gradually, chances did arise. Uh, Peacock Fowler made a good save from Housen. Asamba Long had a free header, which he's headed over. Which, interestingly enough, I've just read a report suggesting that there could have been a penalty incident uh, with uh, with Cooper during the same corner where he apparently fouled Aidan Flint. I'm not really sure, because the, the, the report I've read that often very middles were biased. But maybe people who've been watching on the sky, I was at the game, I haven't seen it again. I mean, I didn't even see it. I didn't, I didn't notice it at the time. Um, I can tell you whether that was a penalty, because I, I, I personally didn't see it. There was also an instance in the first half with Roof where he went down. Um, the Leeds South stand went crazy. They they wanted a penalty. To me, it looked like Roof backed into the defender and then went down. It didn't look like a penalty to me. But again, I wasn't watching the sky. And, you've, and if you have been, you've had the benefit of the replays. Again, neither of them looked like penalties. I wouldn't say either of them were penalties. Um, especially the Roof, I didn't think I got a clear view of that. But on, you know, on view, they might have been. Um, and then for Leeds' chances... Mainly long-range chances. We had a header cleared off the line uh, from a corner, which uh, Barry Douglas whipped one in back stick. And yeah, it would go into half time. It was just a very you know you knew it was a close game. Second half, once again, not many chances for Leeds. Uh, we came forward a few times. A few times, a final pass, especially from Saez. Just that final ball wasn't quite there. I didn't think Alioski was quite on it today. Um, but we see that I'd say we had the better of the second half. But there was a 10 15 minute spell where Bubba were whipping in balls, they had long throws on, and putting it in towards their big men. 
and we did really well um, to withstand that storm. Janssen came on for Berardi. He did an excellent, um, went straight into the game, you know, was thrown right in the deep end. He did amazingly. And we did so well to get through that period because Borough are an incredibly good team, an incredibly physical team, and a, a, a typical Tony Pulis team. And, um, and yeah, it was a good, good point. I'm happy with the draw. Not just because he's top of the league, but because Borough are a really good team. And by the end of the season, I think we'll look back at this game and go, yeah. You know, I'm glad we got something out of that game. Because a lot of teams will not get, you know, results at home or away to Borough this season. Because they're an incredible team with an incredible squad. And they've only gone and strengthened it even more today uh, with their signings. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with the point. It's a very positive video. If you're a Borough fan, tell me what you, you thought. Because, personally, I thought we deserved a point. But then maybe you had that penalty shout. Maybe you thought that was a penalty. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really convinced. Maybe you thought we had the better of the chances either there. Just read a report which seems to suggest that you uh, we said Leeds got lucky. I didn't see it that way. I thought that the uh, draw was a fair result. But the Borough fans say what you thought. Um, for Leeds, uh, who was your man of the match? I would like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. But otherwise, I will see you next.